Can they level with us when we know that finances are almost impossibly tight? Pendently selected the questioners here with us this evening. I'll also and we've had a lot of viewers getting in touch to ask where is the money coming from? We will raise specific taxes and we've been really clear what they are. We've already dealt with the tax break on private schools. We want to end the non-dom status completely. I think that the super rich should be paying their tax. I want to get rid of the uh, equity loopholes that are there again for the super rich. And I think the oil and gas companies should be paying their fair share towards our energy. So we will raise those, but we won't raise the others. We should see that. Yes, well, we have already scrapped the non-DOM regime and we have a 75% windfall tax all, you've left a on loophole. energy companies. But independent Treasury civil servants have costed oh. Labour's policies and it's £2,000. But you asked this the specifics, nonsense. Julie. So let's have Absolute a specific difference. Nonsense. Please let I've Mr Sunak finish. Oh. the triple lock plus. It's so that we raise the personal allowance for pensioners and ensure that the state pension is never subject to tax. But it's been broken, and it has been broken, exactly as you describe. It's unforgivable what, what's happened to the NHS. And, and to come into power for 14 years and leave the NHS in a worse state than when you found it is unforgivable in politics. Uh, and Rishi Sunak stood 18 months ago, Janet, and said that those waiting lists, which are now nearly... Yeah, 8 million. He said he'll get them down. He made a promise. The waiting lists are coming down. But what Keir Starmer Hang didn't on. mention to you, which you did, Julie... The you, you, 7.2 uh, million, they're now 7.5 million. He says they're coming down. And this and, is the guy who says yes. he's good at maths. Yeah, they are, they are now coming down. <laughs> they are now coming down. 7.2 yes. when you said you'd get them down. 7.2 million, they're now 7.5 million. I'd like you to explain how they're coming down. Because they were coming down from where they were when they were higher. 7.2. And they're now <laughs> on their way down. <laughs> they are down, right? <laughs> Yes, oh. because the NHS was impacted by industrial action. Oh. And if it wasn't for oh. that, a, a half oh. a million appointments would have been saved. So it's somebody but else's fault. What would you do about the doctor strikes that Rishi Sunak raised? Can you answer that very directly to Rishi Sunak? We've got to resolve them. And for months and months and months, the Prime Minister hasn't resolved them. They've been arguing about who gets in the room. When Keir Starmer says he'll resolve it, he hasn't explained to you how. But okay, I will say this. You the can British... answer that, Keir Starmer. Well, we wouldn't pay the 35%. We've already said that to the doctors. We can't afford it because the government's already broken the economy uh, and there are many things that now can't be afforded. So we're not going to pay that. But what you can't do is what the Prime Minister has done, which is to Well, you say, just said you'd resolve it. So what would you do? At the end of the so day... So you're not going to give them the 35% pay rise that they're asking for. So how would you resolve it? Look, just I'm... standing there and saying, I'll resolve it, isn't an answer. That's well, not a plan. Prime Minister... How would you resolve it? Prime Minister, your record... Is well, no, no, how would you resolve it? You want to be Prime Minister, how would you resolve the strike? I wish she had You'll say, how would you resolve uh, them? I wish she had as much to say when Liz Truss was crashing the economy. Could you answer uh, Rishi Sunak's point, please, yeah, Keir Starmer? Well, I will, when I can get a word in edgeways. Um, his record is of saying, I'm not going to get in the room to negotiate. And what have we no, got? No, no, what, no, we've been in the room to negotiate. What have we got? <laughs> Ongoing strikes. Answer. We have to end these strikes. The grown, How? The grown-up way to do that is to get in the room and to negotiate with the doctors and come to a settlement. To gain access to the UK illegally. Much indeed, Stephen. Rishi Sunak. Stephen, immigration is too high. If I'm your Prime Minister, the planes will go to Rwanda, we will have a deterrent. So the simple question for Keir Starmer is, what will you do with people who come here illegally? Tell what Rishi's... will you do with them? Well, very simply, Rishi's what will you do with them? That's what I'm going to do. We'll have a deterrent. What are you going to do? We need to smash the gangs that are running this vile trade, making a huge amount of money, <laughs> putting some of the most vulnerable people in boats across the channel. The numbers this year, 10,000 record numbers. Why is that? Because this it's is on a your challenge. Watch. This is a growing challenge, but I've got a plan to deal with it what because I'm going to put people it? on planes. Every... What are you going to do with them? I can tell everyone what I'm going to do. You might not like it, but I've got a plan. Okay. Because let's, we've okay, got to have a deterrent. Okay. What are you going to do? Just okay. tell everybody. Let's, what let's, are you going to do with illegal Rishi migrants Sunak, who arrive? Please, can we There's... just... Please, gentlemen, we will lower our voices. Keir Starmer, well, please respond directly to th Rishi There's Sunak. a pattern of behaviour here. He said he would get waiting lists down. They've gone up. He said he would stop the boats. We've got record numbers coming. The promises he make are not worth the paper they're written on. Very specific question to you, if I may, Rishi Sunak, and that is on the European Convention on Human Rights. If your Rwanda plan is blocked by the courts, and will this appear in your manifesto, that you would remove the UK from the European Convention on Human Rights? Is that part of your plan? Will that be in your manifesto? I'm crystal clear. I believe all our plans are compliant with our international obligations, but if I am forced to choose 
between securing our borders and our country's security or a foreign court, I'm going to choose our country's security every single time. Keir Starmer, respond to that directly. To uh, Rishi Sunak, please. No, if I'm Prime Minister, we will not pull out of international agreements and international law, which is respected the world over. <laughs>